Last month while sending the Ranger, we got an exciting text from eBay. Hey, are you guys working on something that we could reveal at the eBay Motors New York Auto Parts Show? Well, we're turning our 6x6 Ford Ranger into a pre-runner. Does this work? To which they responded, drool face emoji. We already had a cart full of everything we needed for the entire project on eBay Motors, so we clicked go to checkout and got to work. See the ram here pushes on this aluminum arm that is bolted to this bearing and this big old steel arm, which, you know, angles back and forth and runs both axles at the same time. Kind of a cool setup. Just use a little bit of improvement. Maybe some tightening of things. Jam nut on the tie rod is just finger tight. That's good. These are what I like to call bonus bolts. Departure angle improvement. I feel like we're one of those like NASCAR teams, like swapping yeah. tires. <laughs> did you catch that? Yeah, I actually did. <laughs> <laughs> Still works. Yeah. left out all the bolts that are hard to get to. So all I have to do is get to the easy ones. Don't come right off. I think these front shocks are a little done. This thing is literally lifted with hockey pucks. I no longer believe it was built in Alaska. This was definitely built in Canada. Only a Canadian would lift a truck with hockey pucks. That <laughs> is a hockey puck body lift. <laughs> wow. With a ratchet strap holding it in place. Dang, are we ground scoring some hockey pucks, boys? Nope. <laughs> We're leaving them right there. <laughs> that's archaeo that's automotive archaeology right there. You can't disturb that. Right off. Mission weight reduction here. Uh, we're gonna delete as much as possible of the AC system because. It was already ruined, and we live in a place where it's cold like eight months of the year. Would you just look at all of these bonus bolts? More weight reduction!
Ooh, we got our first exciting parts for the Ranger. We got some giant box here from Advanced Fiberglass Concepts, which means shiny pre-runner fenders. Dang, those Woo. things are awesome. Look at that crispy, crispiness. They're the lightest things I've ever felt. That box yeah. feels like a box without yeah, fenders like, in them. That's, feels, yeah, they're, yeah, they're Ethan's so holding it with one hand. I mean, this, right. these are crazy light. Yeah, we also have a few other parts from eBay Motors. We got a fan clutch, and on the way we have a whole new grill and headlights and all that, so we'll put that on when we get it, but having the fenders first is actually perfect because yeah. they need to go on before. You hold the whole grill, the like the bit behind the grill, the edge pieces that are not yeah. chrome, you know those little chromey things? Yeah. No chrome. No, uh, no. And we got some headlights that really fits the ridiculousness. Nice. I think I actually had a dream about this last night. This is so sick. Look how much wider this thing looks. And we've got so much more clearance too. Oh before. My God, that looks good. Yeah, before the tires used to rub on the fender and it was terrible. So now, now we've got a ton more swag for the tires to go up and down and not wreck our, wreck our fenders. So we're just gonna shave away a couple parts that are rubbing on the on the truck and then it should fit right up. And then we gotta drill the holes and bolt this thing in. Wow, that is satisfying. <laughs> All right, so we got the fender on. This truck has been in a front end accident at some point, so we had to modify some of the holes. But yeah, I'd say it's pretty minty. I'd say it's very minty. Yeah, I'd say it's very minty. I can't wait to see it outside. Anything in the shop, inevitably, yeah. like, you can't really appreciate it until you see it outside. Yeah. Does this... Oh, yeah, that clears. No problem. Now our truck's really starting to look like a project. All the panels are different colors. That's what I like to see. Wow, there's a lot of tension on those. Another step in the uh, Ranger weight reduction and beautification project is to get rid of this giant, horrendous gas tank, which actually, I think we're gonna use this uh, as, a, as a fuel storage tank. We'll put like a little hand pump on it, and then we can make it so we can set it onto the bed of whatever truck's going to town and fill it up with gas, so we always have gas out here. So we'll make use of it, just not on uh, the Ranger. I really want to know when it was built. Like, it seems like it was a while ago, but it's a 1995 Ford Ranger. It can't have happened when it was new. Before I can really build a whole flatbed on here, I just want to clean it up, make it a little prettier, get rid of all the stuff we don't need like this. And uh, under the gas tank, we found another ridiculously overkill thing. Look at this. That's 7 16th solid plate all the way across there. And I mean, yeah, you want some strength there, but like there's also a square tube that goes across there. So I think we'll probably cut that out as well and then, you know, just put in a couple of little gussets. So first thing I'm gonna cut off here, I'm gonna cut the back of these tubes off at an angle. This is, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it is weight reduction, but it's more just about making it look better. Plate, so it's time to bust out the plumbing tools as if we were real plumbers for more leverage. Heck yeah, that's totally how you use a plumbing tool. Yeah. Wow, that is a lot of weight right there. That is a hefty 
hefty plate. Wow, I felt it hit the floor. What I'll do here is I'll cut a little notch out of this edge here. I'll cut it back to here, fold it down, weld it flat, you know, just, just make all of that smoother. Oh boy, it's an exciting day. More Ranger parts from eBay Motors. This one's like extremely heavy. This is uh, the beginning of the not weight reduction. That is some glorious packing material on there. Whoa, that's some, uh, some serious fire starter right there. Nice. Wow. Those are the end plates. These bolts are like the crispiest things I've ever seen. I came in with some freshies from eBay Motors. These are the last of the parts we'll need. And then in the next round of orders from eBay, we'll have all the light bars and lights and everything. Oh, dude, lights are going to be so fun. Those are the headlights. headlights. yeah. Oh, dang. That's dude. a little bit better than what we have yeah. now. The blacked out <laughs> They're one ones? piece. One piece? One oh, piece, yeah. Man. That'll look good with the bumper. Yeah. yeah. have paint, lighting, and a custom gas tank to build before we go to the eBay Motors New York Auto Parts Show. So stick around for next week, it's gonna get wild. <laughs>